Wayne Oliver Goss. Ollie. Uh, Edward Joseph Goss. You know, when we were young, we didn't, you didn't have a lot of money and whatever with lacrosse. You, you need a stick, a ball, and a wall. And, and um, it was just what we did every summer since we were growing up. You got Cam Wazowski and Wayne where they literally changed a lot of the rules of the game. Kane and Wayne and Kenny, um, Ron Pepper, um, Jim came a little later. Quite a few. Al Luthwaite, Ray Benny. Well, the big advantage was we're all good friends. Yeah. yeah. So we, we trusted each other to have our back. Yeah. yeah, we played okay. soccer together, most of the team. Uh, we played sports together uh, the full year, most of us. The seniors started bringing up, you know, younger guys uh, a lot during the year. And we went to Victoria and remember we, the line, they took you and me and Kenny. Wayne and Kenny and I were on a line in junior. Wayne was the, the face-off guy, of course, and, and him and Kenny were, worked well together. But Kenny ended up being a defensive player and senior, right, like a defenseman. Well, I used to study it based on when I was a senior game in that. And I particularly liked it because I wanted the ball. so. The best way to get it is to win the draw, you know? I don't think there's a magic picture. Yeah. Just be quick. Yeah, I think you're, you're saying you wanted the ball. It was the, yeah. the right. He had the will to get that ball. That was his thing. Wayne's biggest thing that I've always said to people is he was always in top shape 12 months a year. Some of us took a couple months off. Well, it's like I said, there was no 30 second rule, and there was also another back of the city. So we take turns, get the ball and run around the whole end of the floor. Then the bed will let everyone tired. I'd break for the goal, and Ken would see me and give me a pass. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a boring way for the fans, but it was, well, they loved YouTube watching. I'm talking about the game, because that's, in the, in the older days when we watched, uh, Vancouver had some great teams at that time, but they, they just ragged the ball most of the game. Uh, they, they, you know, they'd win seven to five or something, right? Ken and Wayne were, Wayne ragging were incredible ball. ragging that ball. And at first, because Rob, he was the first one to play against them and you, they took you up I guess as a junior um, when they their first year so the whole family got them sooner or later Rob had them first then Wayne and Rob and then Wayne and I had them and we were not successful um, they were they were literally an all-star team of Ontario Jim Bishop coached them and and I found out quick uh, how good a coach he was as when I went back the first year when I went back there I had won the scoring race and um, um, I had someone checking me <laughs> pretty damn good and and they they did a heck of a job shutting me down just a whole lot of guys that went on to become they're a good they, team they were stars then but they went on to become stars and senior as well it started out where I, I, I look back now and think, what was I thinking? But uh, they wanted to bring up, uh, they actually, they wanted to bring two guys up and they, they had four of us. At that, that year, I played as 28 games of senior and 28 of junior. Consequently, my, I didn't have my best year of junior, my third year. I mean, we had, like, Al Luthwaite was, you know, big, strong, great checker. Um, Ray Benny, uh, this be, Ray Benny, um, um, Mickey Lynch, good strong hitter, Stumpy, uh, Steve Deesom, and, and Dave Matheson. So at the end, uh, when the playoffs came, we all were up most most of the games. 
to play with Cliff Shepka, that was his last year. And, and to play with those guys that I idolized, Cliff Shepka, he was my favorite player. But to play with them and then um, get Detroit, who had all these, a lot of these uh, green gills, to get them back. That year in junior, I was playing both junior and, and senior up. We played Oshawa in the finals and lost, I had lost four straight to them in Queen's Park. So I got to face them in Queen's Park in that final series. It, it was like a dream can come true. I mean, it was like a hockey player wanting to play in the forum in the, Sta in the Stanley Cup finals, you know. Uh, it was just, it was just electric. Joe could, could, was a real good ball handler. You know, he was pretty, he was a ball sniper, not yeah. like he could be throwing ice even line pass right now. I was, a, I, I faked, you know, that was my he thing. Was He'd just stand there and look goalie. at it. He, he didn't move. <laughs> he was, he was uh, so good. He was the best I saw. He, we were playing against Vancouver, and, and they actually had a half a dozen guys that went on to become seniors, and even a couple that were Hall of Famers. But you know, uh, the you know the goalie—I I don't remember his name—but we have we still joke about that, Ray Benny and I, and um, because um, like I think Keith Jackson said it the best. It was it was it was like I had radar. I mean, it was one of those nights. That I just they weren't. There weren't any of the real cheap ones, it just the shot was on and everything was working right. But their defense wasn't great. I, um, I had 11 goals and three assists, and Ray had seven goals and seven assists, okay? The last, when I got my 11th goal, the goalie walked off, okay? And Ray was a centerman. My buddy Al Luthwaite, who was closer to Ray, obviously, at that time, <laughs> had no goals in that game. So when, they put the, the ball down at center. Ray just picked it up. Al and I are standing outside the goal. It's empty. Raymond throws it to his buddy, Al. So he gets his first goal. I know he didn't do it so he could outscore me. He got the 15 points. But he keeps reminding me, you, yeah, you had 14, but I had 15, remember? <laughs> but I tell him, well, I won the scoring race that year, though, and you were second. <laughs> Ward was Chop and Wayne, you know, Ward Sanderson came up, he was like a baby draft, you know, like he, he didn't know how to handle a stick well, but he's a big guy and whatever. And, big grill. And, yeah, and, big and, arms. I, I want to say this up front, I, I would have liked to have a guy like him on our team to so take care of that stuff, because we, we never had, uh, you know, that kind of component. Um, and. Um, but he went after Wayne right away early, and, and I, I had no idea who he was, so I ended up fighting him um, right away. Uh, and, you know, what I was used to growing up when I fought, you have a fight, it's done. Well, um, um, then he, you know, the next game he wants to fight you, right? Like, so that was kind of how we, we went, and, um, and then, then Al would play with him few times you know like he he would go after Al and and Al would dance do his Muhammad Ali uh, interpretation with him it, it was part of the game but we had you know again you had um, there's guys that are tough that just don't fight you know that, that's how how it is and uh, I, I look back at our team we had small teams I mean you throw in Mac but he was a tall guy but Al was like the biggest of everybody, and you, you get the right, Wayne and Kenny and Jim Giles and Dave Matheson and Stumpy. I mean, they were all small, tough guys, you know, strong and, 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 and all that, but that, it just wasn't part of their thing. So I look back and I think Al was a point guy, I was a shooter, and we would be the ones that would fight the most. <laughs> when I went up, uh, uh, as a 19 year old, which I turned 20 in September, um, they, I negotiated my, what we made, we actually made money then. And um, 
I don't know if, if I, obviously I didn't talk to you or you were told not to say anything, but I won, I made $7 a game if we lost and 12 if we won. So I'd tell my girlfriend, if we, if we lose, we're just having a beer. If we win, we'll have a beer and a hamburger. <laughs> then I find out Wayne and Kenny were both getting 25 bucks a game. <laughs> what? Why would well, you not tell your brother? It's a bit wrong on that. I was getting 50. 25 for a loss. 50 for a win. Oh my, that, I'm talking about the first year. Oh man, that's even worse, Wayne. I mean, really, 12 and 7? I mean, and... and I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't leave the crowd. They were, it was too much fun. Well, I, I, I mean, I love the game, of course, and uh, I, it, it has changed so much, but I love the game, all the people I met and the memories and that. I, I just, I, I ended up with a shoulder injury, and I, I wish that I hadn't uh, had kind of the temperament I had to, I wish I just played more rather than have to um, think I had to go and fight people. So I, my career was shorter um, because I just couldn't, um, I didn't want to keep playing as less of a player as I was. And um, Wayne kept his, every year he was, he just kept going. And 